the fundamental message in the book is that you can't climb a mountain if it's not there. I'm not opposed to bullying at all. I'm not opposed to bullies. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, a bully is someone who externalizes their pain and a victim is someone who internalizes their pain. They work together as a team to create the perfect opportunity for them both to grow. If you take one away or you eliminate bullying, the person who has a tendency to bully themselves, which is the victim, won't have the opportunity to see how much they are uh, conceding in life, how little they are valuing themselves and how little they are doing to put themselves in the place of personal power. The bully shows up to show them that they are backing down too far. And the bully requires the victim to be able to witness the damage that they can do to another human being so that they learn compassion and they learn tolerance and they learn restraint and they learn how to pull back. Together they work together. So a bullying situation, as far as I'm concerned, is a perfect situation for growth and development. And if we come at it from that point of view that both parties have a problem, both parties need to grow, both parties have something to learn, we can be a tiny bit less judgmental and less harsh. It's all about perception. So they don't waste time falling down under somebody else's disdain or falling down under someone else's dislike or someone else's hostility. We don't need to. We need to examine what it is about ourselves that we need to learn. We need to learn it and we need to go on and write some books and do some cool stuff and be kind and make the world a better place. Thank you for your time. Right.